Hey YouTube, Kim Brzezelic here. Welcome to my channel. You're actually just in time. I was um, just getting ready to make a few adjustments um, on the Chinese mini lathe. So, let's just get started. Yeah, I think, let me find the right tool. Um, in the meantime, this channel is um, about my uh, learning how to scratch metal and um, essentially um, making parts to upgrade this mini lathe. Um, I won't always have a mini lathe. I have aspirations and greater things. So please follow along on the channel and uh, watch me learn. Your comments are appreciated, your advice, and your criticism. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Okay, we're in Mike's shop. First of all, we got a big oil burner, a wood burning stove. Got a giant eyeball up there watching things. Stack of wood. Work area. Welder, cut off saw, press. Drops, storage. A cool little thing. You can get a picture of both sides. And That's the table. Yeah. 
It's got the original vise on it. Now that table doesn't rotate though. Um, Probably not. Um, no. You know what? You know what? What really, what really, um, kind of impresses me most. I mean, this isn't an example of it, but I, I'm walking by your lathes, and I, I see the tool holder. Oh you yeah. Know? And your tool holders. Bigger than my chuck, <laughs> <laughs> but but so so is our lathe. Yeah, I mean it's it's uh it's one of those things where um now see this this lathe right here it'll it'll outcut anything in the shop as far as depth of cut and stock removal, and then and that's an old spring or monarch, and then over here is an old Springfield that was made in. Springfield, Ohio. Oh. And it will outcut that lathe. So I guess this lathe, and I bought it for um, 500 bucks because the guy thought the bearings were bad, and all it was was they had to be tightened up, and I never looked back. He said it won't hold tolerance on the Z. It, it doesn't repeat. And he was right when you took a cut. You could see the chuck do this and jump back. It was only 10,000. But that's all it takes. Yeah. Yeah. So all you had to do is adjust the, the tension on the on the bearings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Preload, you know, tighten the preload, up the spindle. Yeah. Tighten up the spindle and put the preload on the bearings. And, and it's great. And then well, my a, best deal I've ever got is this boring mill. It's a small one, of course. And um, I paid more to move it than I paid to buy it. <laughs> it's it worth 1400 bucks to buy it. 1800 bucks to move it. Well, you can put a big piece of work on that. Um, that machine is going for $18,000. And here's, here's the cool thing about it. It's got